to Dunvant to learn a bit about a very special organisation. The Ospreys community team run a project called Sporting Memories. It supports older people living with dementia, depression and loneliness by engaging them in social activities and helping them to recall memories of the past. I've seen plenty of rugby here at Broadacre, but I've come to meet some special people off the field today. Every session follows the same format. There'll always be a reminiscence, so we look at the national, local and international sporting calendars and see what's happening in the world at the moment, see what's happening locally. Today, I'm going to hand up some quiz sheets. There's some pictures of some former players. There's two Obviously, at the moment, we're doing a lot about the Six Nations. Use your whiteboards, have a chat in your teams to name the 12 players, and then we run through them all together at the end, OK? Do you remember that one? Remember him? I, I know. That's when he, uh, I can't put a name to it. That's when he just... It means a lot to me as an Osprey supporter, a Swansea supporter in the first uh, in the first instance, and being able to go back to these clubs, the likes of Dunvant, St Helens, and, and see things like this um, thriving and going really well and bringing in people that have great memories. He was oh, yeah. massive, massive love, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 I enjoy that kind of one-to-one -one time with people. Oh, let's have a look how Katie's team are getting on, yeah. I love hearing about their stories and their experiences, and I think that's what makes the project. Is that an Italian shirt there? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes people come through the door and they very rarely would make eye contact, let alone speak to you. Number seven posed a, f a lot of challenges. But you can pretty much guarantee within the two hours they've been here, they've warmed to us, they've warmed to the environment that they're in, and by the end of it, the physical activity always gets people up and laughing, and we joke, um, if you're not competitive coming in through the doors, you certainly will be by the time you leave. <laughs> he loves sport, can't remember anything, but um, so doesn't enjoy the quizzes so much, but loves the games at the end. Whether it's quizzes, a game of bowls, or just a simple chance to reminisce, it all lifts the spirits. We enjoy coming here, don't we? Mm. Yeah. We? But you enjoy it more because of it being sport. Yeah. yeah and, you know, you sport oriented. Would you like to do embroidery on it, in fact? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and how important is Helena to you, Phil? Everything, to be honest with you. We've been married 62 years and we get on so well together. Mm. Well, we got to it because we live in a flat. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the people we've met. The position they're in are really, really heartbreaking, but we just chat and that human contact or that socialising improves that and they leave reset to go again. I just genuinely do love just being here, being part of it. It doesn't feel like a job. It's just so um, rewarding um, and we just have so much fun. And that's what it's all about, it's just about fun. Yes, yeah, some really important stuff there happening away from the pitch. Back to the action, right? And it's Ulster on Friday night. They are unbeaten at home this season and they were aiming to make it six wins in a row as they welcome 